onion farms and farm registration under HortiNet system for export purpose. This video has specially been made for State Horticulture Department. Onion farmer or farm registration by State Horticulture or Agriculture Department. Today, we will tell you how to register a farm under HortiNet system. You can register the farm on the official website of APEDA that is www.apeda.gov.in or through HortiNet mobile app that is farm registration is available in Google Play Store. HortiNet is a single sign in traceability registration system for all APEDA horticulture produce. To access the HortiNet registration system, please visit APEDA website www.apeda.gov.in First of all, under the traceability systems, select HortiNet to proceed. After that, please log in as State Government Agency with login details provided by APEDA. Do enter your username and password, then fill the CAPTCHA and click on login to register a new onion farm please go to the left side on main menu then click on onion and then select new registration then fill in the details required for new registration do select the taluk village and enter the survey number and click to proceed this facility is to verify that if the farm is already registered or not. Application from the farmer for registration under HortiNet system for export purpose. Now, talking about the documents that are required for registering the farm. First of all, only one ID proof is required. Either Aadhaar or Voter ID or PAN along with the copy of it and survey number or GAT number along with the copy of same and GAP gap certificate if applicable along with the copy of same. In farmer registration, please enter date of registration, farmer name, farmer address, pin code, phone number etc. In farm registration details, please enter the landmark or adjacent farm details, number of plots, Horticulture officer name. Select yes or no if the farmer is following good agriculture practices, that is GAP, GAP. Then details of it along with the copy of GAP certificate. And provide remarks if any. After that, please enter the ID proof. This could be either voter ID or Aadhaar card number or PAN number along with the copy of same. In the last, select farm legal status. Moving next, please provide crop details which includes area per plot, survey or GAT number, variety, crop area and then fill the first inspection details or annexure 4A. Here enter the date of inspection, date of sowing, condition of the crop related to the pest, diseases and the stages of the crop, inspection report number. Any advice given to the farmers and then upload the documents. Please note that details of the first inspection should be submitted in the HortiNet system by state official on the same day of inspection. After successful registration, please go to menu and select Onion and click on Home to view list of registered farms from the action column. Note, here it is mandatory to generate the registration certificate or annexure 2A which is valid for one year. After this step, the registered farm will be shown on APDA registered farms directory that enables the exporters to contact the farmer directly. And for the renewal of the farms, it is also advised to the state officials to renew the farms before 90 days of the registration certificate expiry date. Moving next, Please generate the Annexure 4A or First Inspection Report. Then provide details under Fortnight Inspection Entry, which include details like status of pests, that is, enter the date of observation, the crop stage, name of the pest observed, plant protection measures adopted, 
any other information or remarks by state department of agriculture or horticulture then click on add after that in the details of pesticides or chemicals used by farmer please fill in the details such as the date of application name of the pesticides or chemical dose ml or liter of water quality of chemical used remark or any other information then click on add to save the details further in details of harvesting please fill in the date of harvesting the quantity in kg name of the exporter name of pack houses then enter any remark by state department of agriculture or horticulture with initials then at last click on add now at in last section of the form you will find further columns please fill in the any other information name and address of agriculture or horticulture officer then please click on submit to submit your form please note fortnight inspection to be conducted by state official before 15 days of harvesting after that please generate fortnight inspection report it is requested to fill the required details under recommendation for sampling in this form please enter the total likely production in mt further select yes or no in the various conditions of the crop related to pest and chemical and the disease of the crop then enter any further observation concerning quality select yes or no whether pesticide spraying schedule has been as per the recommendation and whether farmers has followed other advice and recommendation of agriculture or horticulture officer during this year enter advice or recommendation given to the farmers concerning incidence of pest diseases and the quality of this stage then enter date of inspection then enter the tentative date of harvesting name of the sg officer at last please submit the report after that please generate the annexure 4b or inspection report for exportable onion farm or plot for renewal of register plot click on renewal of register plot then enter plot registration number then click on proceed to renew the onion farm which is valid for one year please note that state district officer can create the user id and password at taluk level for registration using this facility user id and password will be sent by sms on the registered mobile number by district officer at last for any technical help please click on help desk button and write to apeda with screenshot watching the video